What is up, guys? We are back with another couple episodes of Going For It. Uh, you will see your first appearance of Mike Spillane in uh, this round of uh, some Going For It podcast. Uh, you'll also see a couple new segments I did with Craig. Uh, we called it Carry On Craig, where Craig kind of just gets on a soapbox and talks about whatever he wants, which is basically just the podcast, but uh, a little more a little more focused from Craig for a couple minutes. And In the Pocket, which is a breakdown of the QBs in that division that we talk about in the offseason, just kind of how we feel about them, rank them, a lot of top fives, all that good stuff. So we have even a little bit of draft talk. So that is what we got going on in going for it. At this time, uh, you guys can hope to see some more content more regularly from us. As you can see, I got my setup finally ready to go. I'm repping my New York Giants. All of this stuff was recorded pre-free agency and pr like right after the J.J. Watt signing. So we don't have anything super duper up to date, but I wanted to release it anyway so you guys could get our takes and see how we're feeling. Uh, that will be coming to a screen near you right now. For the Philadelphia Eagles, sets the Eagles back. And as someone who is a fan of a team in that division, that makes me very excited. Oh, uh, you're not Carson you're not Wentz, high on the Hurts? You're not I'm high not, on Hurts? I'm not. I'm not high on him. Um, Wentz went to the Colts. Yes, he did. Like we had talked about, we thought we had a suspicion that maybe the Frank Wright connection would have brought him there. Is Carson Wentz good? No. No. No, he's not good. But could, will he do better there than he than he did last you know year? Yeah, probably, probably. Will will he get a better opportunity than he had? You know, he people talk about his almost MVP season because it wasn't an MVP season; it, it was, was an almost MVP, MVP season, Correct. which is a weird thing to even say, right? Yeah. You almost were good, and then <laughs> you weren't, and then you weren't. So is he good? No. He and Jared Goff are gonna have this weird stigma with them. I would put a few bucks on forever because I don't see either of them winning a championship. They're going to be at best, meaning they would have to ass kick to get there. Philip Rivers. That's their best case scenario. The Marino ish, if you will. Right. And I don't think, I don't think either of them are as good <laughs> as Philip Rivers or Dan Marino. So because of that, I can quickly say, no, I don't think he's that good. And you know, the, the, the cults are in a, uh, nuclear fallout of Andrew Luck not wanting to play for them anymore. They they patched it with a quick, you know, brought in some EMTs or whatever with Philip Rivers, but now now some teeth are starting to fall out, some hair is starting to come out. We we we're down to Carson Wentz now. So Rivers was was not Andrew Luck. I would put Andrew Luck's skill set at above where Rivers was. Rivers was straight up forcing the ball this way. He was throwing it like <laughs> this. I think he was holding the point in his, like this, and he was just shoving it at people, and they still got 11 games out because they have other good pieces. They have right. a good defense. They have other good things. Carson Wentz, I don't even see them winning the same amount of games as last year. I think we're going to be seeing them on like a step, step, step down for, for a couple years, and that's just a little bit of hatred over Carson Wentz. I went all in on him. <laughs> two seasons of oh, fantasy no. I took him thinking oh it'll be the one oh it'll be the one so yeah is it a little bit of butthurtedness <laughs> butthurtedness how do you say that um I think that was it you think you know I wish it. him the worst <laughs> no 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 <laughs> it's he's not that great sorry he's not that great it it's I think it's very strange and it's either going to be if he does bounce back which is is possible. I don't want to. These guys are better athletes than I ever was or ever will be. Well, sure. He could bounce back, but it seems strange in this Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson available world that Indy made the call so early to go get Wentz. And and to be fair, they didn't move a whole lot of capital for him. No. They they still have their first round pick this year. They may still have it next year if he doesn't play. I think it's seventy percent of the snaps, and they make the playoffs. So if they miss for whatever reason, it still is. They gave up a third and a second for this guy. But right. if he's unable to get you where Philip Rivers got you, and it's it's not even Philip Rivers as we know him. It's Philip Rivers, the ghost of the quarterback that once was. That's right. 
That's right. It was the fart vapors of Philip Rivers. <laughs> like he 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 did a fart cloud because he can't run very fast to leave one of those clouds. <laughs> yeah. He just was... he had an exhaustion cloud from his he was hanging out with his nine kids, got exhausted, and then played football and won eleven games. Carson Wentz will win less games than that. So I want to ask now as well. Uh, I have to pull up the receiver from the Colts. There was, and I, I saw this on the Pat McAfee show, and I lost it because I thought it was hilarious. Uh, there is a receiver on the Colts who wears number 11. That is Carson Wentz's number. It is Michael Pittman Jr. of yep. USC. And he is in his second year in the NFL. And he was doing press tours and, and answering questions and stuff. And he said, I'm not giving Carson Wentz my number, but we're good. On, on the spectrum of things to say to your quarterback when they come <laughs> to your team <clears throat> and they ask for the number that they've had their entire career. Yep. And you say no. That's right. Hard no. Hard no. Aggressive, but, hard, in but the we're press, good. no. But we're good. He's going to throw to good. me, but we're good. One touchdown, 500 yards, I think, is what he had this season. What does that say to you? Well, it shows to me a lack of excitement about the ball thrower. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite effect happened in Arizona, where they figured out they got a dead person's approval to give J.J. Watt 99. That that's ha that happened. That number was retired by the team, and the team, the family was like, "No, you can give it to J.J. He's a good person. <laughs> Nobody's doing that." To Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz comes to town. He's yes. Did the team probably put up a banner? You do that, but the fans were like, "What the." <laughs> like what? <laughs> and and again, you you kind of nailed this when when you called it before it even ha happened. It's the coach connection that is the hope. The coach connection is the hope and dream that he brings that out of him again. And you've got a 35 touchdown guy and some really exciting stuff. But the lack of respect from a second year player with a half, you know, no stats to count no for. No stats. No stats is really telling on the work Carson's going to have to do in the locker room. Because if your low-level dude like that can mouth off that way, which means somebody's not telling him in the wide receiver room, hey, man, you should have kept that in here for a sec. Just for a <laughs> sec. This guy just hasn't for taken a minute. For just a sec. Let's see him throw the ball before you shit your own self up <laughs> with it. <laughs> because... I think what we're saying is if Michael Pittman was your keeper this year, drop that fucker. Well, <laughs> he ain't getting the ball. Probably not. <laughs> well, unless he balls out. If he balls, the talent kills everything, right? Because if that's how Carson gets his numbers, they can laugh over it. 11 and 12 or whatever Carson becomes. Yeah. But if he don't, he's not going to sing it. He's not going to sing it. He's going to be wide open like in the movies, like just shaking his head. The defense he will, will be pick standing up there like this, and Carson's going to be like triple coverage, triple coverage. Yeah, let's just throw it into triple coverage and see what happens. Laser beam it in <laughs> to tight windows. Most deflect. We're, we'll we'll call it. We'll call it. Going forward, it's going to call it most deflected passes, most interceptions. Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. <laughs> Love it.